gamers have been pushing the limits of what their computers can do since we started making video games with computers, right? I think back to Roller Coaster Tycoon, which was written by um, Chris Sawyer, I think is his name. For the record, one of the best games ever. One of the best games of all time, still. And it has staying power, right? Yeah, and what's I... crazy... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say I picked it up on Steam recently and <laughs> played it for a day. And it's just like, yes, still it's good. nostalgic. It's still fun. Yeah. What's crazy about that game is that he wrote that entirely by himself in assembly and Wild. the reason that he did that and any anyone who programs will know like assembly is like the nerdiest of nerds languages you know you're basically talking straight to the machine at that point the reason he did that was because the cpu power at the time couldn't handle the types of things he wanted to do with like guest interactions and the way that he wanted this game to work so in order to hyper optimize this game he just wrote like pure machine level code so that he didn't have to deal with any abstractions or anything that would slow down like what he was trying to build. And I think that kind of encapsulates the gamer mindset, which is like your only limit is your imagination and what you can build. And they won't let things like compute power slow them down. 